Eugen released an update today that addresses some key issues with the current gameplay and informs us on some changes to already existing mechanics. First up, the FOB. Eugen teased about a FOB a couple weeks ago. A FOB or forward operating base will be a hardened structure that can be placed at the beginning of a game in your deployment zone and only during the deployment phase. Supply vehicles can use the FOB to refill its cargo before moving back to the front line. Now FOBs will also be capturable by the enemy, and there will be kind of like a conquest capture mode going on there, and for you to recapture it you will have to have more units in there to take it back. It will be a hardened structure with actual walls and stuff and it'll just look much more appeasing. But initially I thought the FOB would be deployable throughout the game and whenever wanted by something like a Chinook, which would have definitely created some interesting possible strategies. But it seems that Eugen is basically going for the same FOB mechanic that we are familiar with since Wargame. Now although the appearance of the FOB might change, the core mechanics of it isn't really changing. Now let's move on to something cooler, the line of sight tool. This tool will receive a major overhaul to also now show you areas that you can't see, but you won't be able to spot hidden units in. Here are two examples. On the left we have the line of sight of an M1A1 tank, which has poor vision. On the right we have a Bradley, which is a dedicated recon unit with much better optics. In white, the areas that a unit cannot see is shown. In blue, areas in which enemy units will be undetectable unless another unit spots it is shown, which then becomes detectable to the M1A1 for example. So let's say other units, if they spot a unit in those blue zones, your now recon unit will have that spotted as well. It's kind of like areas that are that you can see but that aren't necessarily easy to spot units in. Now the next subject that Eugen discusses is the time to kill. Eugen says that it's their objective to have a higher time to kill to promote a more deliberate and tactical pace. On top of that, cheesy tactics are going to be reduced, and the first way to tackle this is by working on planes, helicopters, and AA mechanics. At the moment, Eugen says that planes are often used as a suicide unit to take down heavy armored units and whatnot, without much risk involved. In the next patch, the damage output of howitzers will also be decreased, while the area of suppression will be increased. Once this change is in, the damage and suppression values will be further adjusted to find a nice balance. The current meta strategies will also be analyzed and will be judged on its fairness and tackled accordingly in order to promote a more balanced game. There will always be a meta strategy in the game, but certain ones can be a game breaker for sure. Now Eugen ends the post with saying that the new FOB and line of sight tool will be added as soon as next week, so let's just see how the FOB works, and after that we'll judge it accordingly. Hope this video was useful to you, if it was, you know what to do, I'll see you back in the next one.